Hello, hello, folks. Trying to set everything up here properly because I rushed to get started and it does not look proper. Hope you like that. Uh, I, I had it all set up nicely so I can do a nice starting screen with uh, some music from my uh, my old band. That was me on bass right there from Caught Red Handed with the great Danny Remisio uh, on vocals and uh, uh, guitar. And uh, wasn't working, so I had to play just right through the computer to get started up. So, uh, you know, you. you do what you got to do, I guess, to try to get things going. But uh, hopefully everyone's having a great, uh, what is this? is this Saturday morning? Yep, uh, almost 1030, getting things started. Uh, listen, before I start talking about uh, uh, or, or jumping into Grim Fandango, I should say, I uh, would like to jump into um, uh, the motorcycle show that I actually mentioned yesterday um, over in... There was debate of the name of the town, uh, Harmony, New Jersey, Phillipsburg, New Jersey, whatever you want to call it. The place was absolutely gorgeous uh, for this uh, motorcycle show. And uh, bye -bye, here we go. And I just want to highlight some of the, the motorcycles uh, that were on display there. Now, I don't know who here really cares about motorcycles, but to me, I love it because um, uh, it takes a lot of work to keep these things running still. I kind of like the old school look. Uh, it's kind of like a little bit of American history. These were three bikes that you saw as soon as you walked in. So as soon as I saw this, uh, these bikes, I knew I was absolutely going to love the place. Even though I was working. It was the first time I was actually working there. But to me, it was just kind of cool seeing these. Now, this was a beautiful panhead motorcycle right here. This um, electric glide, dual glide. Beautiful, whatever you want to call it. Um, the amount of, I, I will say this much, the... Red doesn't really, it popped so much better uh, in person than it actually did um, uh, in this picture. Actually, I didn't even notice the red grips on there uh, at the same time. But just absolutely beautiful. Uh, and I was afraid to actually t like go near some of these bikes. Beautiful Indian. I love the, the old patina look that's on here. I actually didn't hear this bike started uh, start. I wouldn't have mind. But um, I kind of like when everything is internally is like running smoothly. But on the outside, it looks like garbage. Uh, to me, it's beautiful. Another one, a little bobber uh, that a guy was putting together. I think majority of the, these bikes were for sale. I could not afford any of them, but uh, I just think they're absolutely beautiful. I believe this was a, for some reason, I want to say a 78 shovel head. This sounded pretty good and loud, I may say. Very loud. It was, after, it was, it was fantastic. Uh, what else we got? We have, I think, a handful more. Where there? Where's my list? Where'd everything go? There we go. Um, I couldn't really get a good uh, look of this bike. I just thought the front end was pretty good. So I decided to take a picture. <laughs> uh, old army style looking bike. I don't know how original this one is. But, um, I mean, how can you not like these? these the, the military versions. I don't know anything about this one. I think this is a, a Frankenstein looking bike. So you had the two bikes over here. Can I zoom in? Let's see. Does it really work exactly? Not, not uh, entirely the way I want. But uh, with the knucklehead bike here, I couldn't really see this one over here. These guys were kind of grumpy. Uh, but the knucklehead over here, I uh, didn't hear it uh, play out or uh, turn over, I should say. Uh, so it was attracting. But just this giant banner over here, which was the size of like a small pickup truck. Uh, I would have loved to have... Uh, Seeing what this might have looked like on a building back in the day. Uh, old survey car. 19, what do I want to say? 50 for some reason, I don't know. Uh, probably because of the, the spring f uh, forks and everything there. Um, I just thought these were cool. I, we, my family, we actually have a 1963 survey car. So I'm a bit of a sucker for them. They don't, they don't make any sense. It's the way like when you see a, a, an El Camino. Like, it doesn't make sense when you see an El Camino. I feel the same way when it comes to uh, survey cars, and I love them. And they're fun to, to ride. You only go, like, 35, 40 miles an hour on these things. Uh, you know, the, the definition of just around town uh, uh, bar hoppers, but uh, they're fun. And here's one where it's fully restored. This is not, let's see, does it have the, the dinosaur motors? Now, it didn't have anything um, uh, in terms of the year. So, I'm... I'm our families, we just put on these handlebars here. They're chrome, but we need to get this pad that's over here uh, to put on a rider uh, on back. But otherwise, it's uh, pretty legit. And that's really it. I just wanted to throw that out there. 
it was a lot of fun. Harmony Township. Um, uh, I recommend it. It was five dollars to get in, and the people who were attending uh, uh, this thing, very much the island of misfit toys, sort of speak, uh, and uh, just a good group of people all around. It was a lot of fun, and again for five dollars, it was it was great. It was a lot of mischief, a little bit of chaos. It was great, and then uh, it was hot, and man, were they hot! Whoa, whoa! Here we go, getting ready. That just that started up fast. Holy moly! Um, but yeah, if you get a chance, let me get the actual name of the actual uh, show. It was called the burr, 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 uh, the Colonial Chapter National Meet Harmony Two Thousand Three. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't. I don't. Warren County Farmers Fairgrounds Route Five Nineteen Harmony, New Jersey. Absolutely beautiful area too. So if you get a chance, check that out. And uh, uh, on a platform that uh, people have come to play video games and stream stuff, uh, I guess I'll stop talking about motorcycles and start going into Grim Fandango. Our third attempt to try to uh, get Manny through uh, and help out people. Uh, let's go. I should also say that this is the part of the game now where I really don't remember a whole heck of a lot. Looks like a weird bus station. Let's talk to this guy. Mr. Flores, I'm ready to take you now. Manny Calavera, is that you? <laughs> Didn't you used to be taller? I'm here to reclaim that walking stick. I broke it over the head of some hideous monsters in the forest. I'm looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. Well, no one's come through town by that name, and you can take it from me. I, too, am looking for someone, so I watch the comings and goings around here very carefully. Who are you looking for? Well, if you must know, it's about my wife. I got word that she passed away not long after I, and that she, too, was crossing the land of the dead on foot. It is said that all lost souls come to Rubacava, so... I came here to wait for her. You must love her very much, also. Yes, this is true. Of course, she also has all of my money. <laughs> That's messed up. Uh, how do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? How do you know your wife hasn't gone ahead of you? Oh, Manny. If she had arrived here first, surely she would have waited for me. I'll help you find your wife. What did she look like? Oh, here. I got this from the DOD and made nice. copies to hand out. Isn't she something? She must have been beautiful with skin. Weren't we all? <laughs> so, know a good place to stay in town? What's your price range? Somewhere around the high end of nothing. Then maybe, young man, it's time you started thinking about a job. Can you give me a job here? Have any skills? Sales. Well, that does qualify you for a certain position, but we only have one mop. <laughs> I'm sorry, Manuel. I've got to get this place ready to open. Right. I'll let you know if I see your wife. She'll be the one asking for her beloved Celso. Celso. All right. So we got something else that we're going to need to do. We need to find his wife. Or help connect them. Uh, is there anything else over here? No. No. So let me ask you this. Have you ever seen a nicer diner in your life? It's back here. Ooh. Whoa! All right, then. Tourists. <laughs> Watch your step around here, stranger. Rubicabe ain't the quaint little port town she used to be. Well, <laughs> looks like there's a new vessel in town. Pardon me whilst I go check her out. Didn't exactly expect that, all right. Well, actually, 
Actually, it's mostly stock with a few mods here and there. So, would those be glass packs I'm hearing or turbos? There was this one high-pitched whine it was making, really grating noise, you know? And I searched and searched, but I couldn't find the source of the noise until we pulled in here. Was it the blower? No, it was Manny screaming in the back like a cat tied to a cruise missile. Ha ha ha! That's a good one. Hola! Hey, Manny, Doc Master Velasco here says he's got a place we can dry dock the bone wagon for a while. Oh, yeah. We can't leave a beauty like this out in the fog, or her chrome will get pitted. Pitted? Did you hear that, Manny? Are you folks gonna stay in Rubacava for a spell? We're here looking for a woman named Mercedes Colomar. I'm not too good with names. Did she have any distinguishing marks or a tattoo? Not that she showed me. Well, like I said, I'm as good with names as you are with the fog. <laughs> <laughs> I might be here a while. Is there any work in this town? Oh, there's lots of work down at the docks, but it's all union work. <laughs> and I just don't see you in that union. <laughs> How do you get around here with all the mist? Uh, when you've strolled these docks as long as I have, Pilgrim, you know where you are by the smell of the sea, by the sound of the lonely foghorn. By the icy touch of the cold, salty air. Wow! Manny, <laughs> could I have an eye patch? Can I just ask, what is under the eye patch? Because I know it's not an eye. Oh, well, when I was alive, I had an eye patch like this. This one's just for the phantom pain. And that one eye socket used to scream like a banshee when the trade winds blew, so I plugged her. Hey, Manny! We were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. Let me see if he knows this one. Ever seen this woman? Oh, if this is the woman you're looking for, take my advice. Forget about her. She sailed out of here weeks ago in a cozy portside cabin built for two, and she wasn't alone. How do you know she sailed out of here? I don't believe it. It's a tough break, Junior, but you gotta face it. Here, look it up in my port log if you want it in writing. Six weeks ago on a Tuesday. Ticket for two, paid in full. I cracked the champagne on the bow myself. Hey, Manny, we were in the middle of a conversation here. Hey, hey, okay. Look, I know how you feel, son. Once I lost a very special lady myself. I waved to her from the docks as she sailed out of port, and I never saw her again. What was her name? The SS La Mancha was her name. Mm. Don't make me talk about her, because I, I just can't do it. All right. Let's do this. Let's go back up to our boy. Are you sure I can't sleep in the back? There's only nope. room for one. How about in the attic? That's the boss's office. You can sleep there when you're the boss. I could sleep out here on the counter. <laughs> Our customers may all be dead, Manny, but we still care about hygiene. I could sleep under the sink in the kitchen. The rats would steal your toes in your sleep. Look, I need a job and I need a place to stay. I told you, you can have mine when I'm done waiting for my wife. Celso? Your wife sailed out of here two months ago with another man. It's all in there. Oh, Manny. Is there a greater constant in nature than the treachery of women? Forget about her, Celso. Have you forgotten yours? I'm going after her. You take over my job here. This mop at least will never let you down. That compass in the handle will sure come in handy, too. go I know these aren't the greatest but man I love these graphics I love the camera work 
the music here. It's not the love. Bum, bum, bum. You gonna come downstairs? I got a customer asking for you. You know I don't like to mingle with the customers. Well, you may want to mingle with this one. She sounds like your type. Well, looks like a quiet night in old Ubacaba. Someone's walking out. See where that person's going. See if we can find out where that person was. I'm not controlling. Manny! Evening, Lupe. I have to tell you about my new organizational system for the coats. Think she'll come in tonight? Manny. You ask me that every night. What am I supposed to say? You're supposed to say, yes, I think tonight's the night. Yes, I think tonight's the night that you finally go nuts from waiting for the grand entrance of Ms. Mercedes Colomar. Hmm. Let's try that again, shall we? Think she'll come in tonight? Yes, I think tonight's definitely the night. Thank you. It's my fault she's out in the woods alone, you know. <sighs> if you say so, Manny. Bogan coming yet? Yeah, he's down at the casino, probably enjoying his usual lucky streak. How's the flow tonight? We're dead tonight, Manny. Everybody's back home for the Day of the Dead, I guess. Except for the casino. The casino's hopping. Why is it that all the people who don't go home are the same people who just love to gamble? Well, I guess when you've got nothing to go home to, you've got nothing to lose. Hey, we Aww. should put that over the door. Everything okay back in the land of fur and fedoras? Everything's in order. It's beautiful. I can't wait for people to come in and try the new system. It's so cool. Want to hear about it? Okay. Tell me all the details about your new coat check system. Yay! Okay. I found all these plastic tiles in the back, left over from the automat, and guess what? They all have numbers on them. So what I'm doing is I give one to everyone who checks a code in and... Manny, you're not even listening to me. <laughs> I go to all this work organizing your coats, and you don't even care. Lupe. Forget it. Don't pretend to care. No, I want to hear. Now, I'll tell someone else about it. Someone who cares. Please, tell me all about your new coat check system, really. Don't patronize me, Cal. Okay, back to work. Okay. Really, I had to get like a coat check button or something from her. Let's see if I can try to find that person. If I can. Meiji? Obviously, I put Manny, up a guardrail. Help me. I've been lost for so long. Why didn't you look for me? I did. You ran off. Why? Because you said I was no good. I've been all alone in the world for a whole year. And it's all because of you! Bum, bum, bum. The 
this going to be an annual thing with you, Manny? Every day of the <laughs> dead, you toss your bones into the drink, and I fish them out? I don't plan to be around that long, Velasco. As soon as I find out where that ocean liner's going, I'm after it. Ha <laughs> ha! That ship's going to Puerto Zapato. That's the other side of the world. There ain't no ships going out that way but the old limbo here, but... But nothing. If the limbo's my only hope, then I'm already on board. Well, good luck, son. That's all I got to say. All right, so I'm ready to sail. On what? On the limbo, man. Let's go. Manny, Manny, Manny. The limbo's not a passenger ship. She's small cargo, son. And every hand on board works. I'll work. What are your skills? Sales and restaurant management. Oh, hey, there is one opening on the limbo's crew. Yeah? Yeah, it's in the engine room. And your buddy Glottis would be perfect for it. But he'd have to get his own tools. Okay, if I get Glottis some tools, can we board? Uh, he can, yes. No <laughs> offense, Manny, but there's just no place for you aboard the limbo. She's fully manned already. In fact, her whole crew's on board, ready to sail at dawn. <laughs> Except for that one guy. Who's the one guy who hasn't boarded yet? Yeah, well, Seaman arranges a little late, but he'll be here before they sail. What job did Naranja have? He ran the galley. Aha, restaurant management. Yeah, it's similar to what you're doing now. <laughs> Except the fish is fresher on the limbo. What if Naranja doesn't show up? I can fill his spot, right? Manny, you're not even in the Maritime Union. I know that, and you know that, but we're two guys who can keep secrets, right? Glossus is exempt, but the captain will ask for your card. And if you don't have one, they'll serve you to the sharks like chum. And what's worse, I'll get fined. That's a tough union boy, and I don't mess with them. So let me get this straight. If I get Gladys some tools, then I can get him a job on the limbo. And if Simon Naranja doesn't show up for work... But he will. ...and I get a Maritime Union card... Which you'll never get. ...then I can sail on the limbo in the morning. Sheesh. I guess so. Mm. What kind of tools does Gladys need? Authentic CB equipment only. Where do I get authentic CB equipment? Why don't you ask a CB? Afraid of getting stung? <laughs> Dad joke right there. Where do you think Naranja is? Probably home selecting recipes for the trip. Drunk at the casino. What's going on in that bottle? A tugboat? This happens to be a perfect scale replica of the SS Lumbago. I'm just having a little trouble getting the walking beam to fit in the neck here. <laughs> that funny. Because a lumbago is usually more of a problem in the lower back than the neck. Yeah, mm -hmm. Nothing. I'd better go finish packing. I, you do that, son. All right. So I got to get union card. I got to find out what's going on with those tools. I just got to look at that. It shone pale as bone as I stood there alone. And I thought to myself how the moon that, that night cast, cast light, light on my heart's true delight, delight and, and the reef where her body was strewn. Alright, it's not creepy. Don't creepy. have that kind of equipment. Don't have that kind of equipment. It's spooky down here. <laughs> so I want to know if I could figure out, do I need to see what was in that bottle? All right, so let's see all the corners over here. There it is. Max's giant cat racetrack. How's a regular guy with three roulette tables supposed to compete with that? In the lighthouse. What the hell? Looks 
like it hurts. Looks like it hurts. Hola, Toro. ¿Cómo estás? Not now, Manny. I'm in the middle of something with Naranya here. All right, that's our boy. That's one old fridge. Okay, I was able to do something. And then not so much. It's empty. My grinder. Very painful. Very painful. Eh, Naranya? Like torch. Okay. So that's to switch things up here. Strong stuff. That ought to kill the pain. Should, but it don't. I kill the pain. Turn off my drill. Stop working. How about that? No, no, no. I can take it. Bring it on, pops. I'll pop you, silver boy. <laughs> Hello, operator? Yeah, it's me, baby. How'd you know? Hey, you know I meant to stop by and... I'm more happy about leaving town every minute. All right. So I got an idea what I got to do there. Let's return back up yonder. I mean, when there's a lever, you got to just, you got to pull the lever, right? Got a gate. I got another gate. Visible wall there blocking me. Ugh, I'm not sure what I hate more, crowds or cats. Getting I'm right. definitely not going right. near either one today. Wow, somebody really liked this cat. Beloved Sanspoof, this regal and majestic feline was a record holder for speed and a favorite of the crowds here in Rubacava for many years until her career was suddenly and tragically cut short on the second week of the racing season when the airship Olivia won on its maiden voyage crashed onto the track mid-race and exploded. Many bereaved fans testified later that before the blimp hit, Sanspoof was in the lead. Okay. Fucci, that smell wow. is peor que la muerte. That's gross. Tempting as it is, I just can't bring myself to jump in the giant unclean kitty litter. Yeah, that's fair. Can't really argue with that. I'm not much of a cat person. Uh, is that something on top of the tuna cans there? What's that? It says revolutionary design leaves can edges safe and smooth for kitty. Okay, let's put that can opener, it sounds like. Uh, can I go back here? I can, but nothing going on. Let's see what we got up here. Hey! Not me controlling. Looks like Are a great night for cat race. races. Hello. Oh, oh hi. Very 
betting stub, please. What? I need the betting stub for the race you're interested in. Interested in how? In the rest didn't seem the photo finish file for, of course. Oh, I, I don't have a betting stub. Oh, okay. Bye. Is that it? Hello? Betting stub, please. Oh, I, I don't. Oh, okay. Bye. Right, okay, so that's. We got a betting stub. Oh, 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 nope, nope. Well, Manny Calavera, you never come up here to see me anymore. Well, I thought you could use the company with everybody gone for the Day of the Dead. In that case, Manny, why don't you stick around until six? That's when I get off. Okay. Creepy. Busy night? Hardly. Everybody's gone home for the holiday already. This place is dead, and I'm bored, Manny. Bored. What's the shuttle waiting for? Oh, they're just cleaning it, but they're very thorough. We run a tight ship here, you know. Can I try out your metal detector? What's your sudden interest in metal detectors, Manny? I'm just a collector. Well, I'll show it to you when I'm on break. How's that? When's your break? Dawn. Oh, that's too late. I'm shipping out tonight. Yeah, right. I've fallen for that line too many times. I think it's time for your break. We could slip in the back for a little drink. You can tell me all about your job, the danger, the metal detectors. That back room's all business, Manny. And so am I. What kind of business goes on back there, Carla? Strip searches. Hmm, and you don't qualify. Why don't I qualify for a strip search? Manny, I agree it would help pass the time, but we have procedures and rules <laughs> here. And you never know when they're watching. I can only strip search people when a regular search turns up nothing. Hey, it's worth a try. Ooh, I love this part. <laughs> Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. Clean. Rats, Manny, I almost got to strip search you. Okay. A lot of paperwork. A lot of passengers. Everybody's back home but you and me. Hey, hey, official documents. Don't touch. When did you put in a floor safe? That's our new contained detonation chamber in case someone tries to come through here with a bomb. Since when does Rubicaba have a terrorism problem? This town's changing, Manny. It's getting tougher every day. It's locked. All right, so I also need some sort of metal, metal detector, bomb over here. Can I go up these stairs? No. Oh. Sorry, monsieur, but this is the elevator to the High Elevator's Rollers Lounge. That's where I'm going. It is members only. You must be new. And you must have a VIP pass to come upstairs. Adieu. All right, I need a VIP pass. I'm getting to the point. I'm going to have to write all this stuff down pretty soon. Okay. I got this way. Can I go into here? Probably not. Nope, okay. Can I go here? This gate only leads up to the Lombada dock, and the Lombada's gone. I've got the lumps to prove it. Okay. Plenty of stuff to figure out here. Let me go down. Oh, these are the bees. Everything's so pretty. Cold one, huh, Terry? Yeah, it's always cold when you're unemployed, Manny. Who's unemployed? Aren't you guys in the union? The union? <laughs> they don't look after us, little guys. They're run by the coppers. And you of all people should know, Manny, that the cops are in bed with the gambling joints. 
Hey, I run an honest joint. We ain't in bed with nobody. What about the protection money? We pay every week. On the nose, through the nose, like an honest place should. <laughs> See what I mean? This town is just a big conga line of hustlers, all laughing and dancing and scratching each other's backs. Why aren't you guys up there working? You don't know the deal down here on the docks, do you, Manny? If you want to get the jobs, you have to pay the unions extra dues. And that ain't cheap. We don't pay, and so they put us on barrel duty. Why don't you just pay the union off, then? We got our pride, Manny. We're straight stingers, you know? Not to mention we just don't have any cash to spare now that we're not working. I mean, it's like a problem where, uh... Uh, the solution that makes the problem uh, worse. Like a catch-22? Yeah, wow. I wish I knew words like that. If the union is crooked, why don't you register a complaint? <laughs> That's a good one, Manny. Did you hear that, guys? He thinks we should register a complaint. You bees are being exploited. You should do something about it. Yeah, what can we do? We're just a handful of unorganized drones. We don't know nothing about nothing except just how to take it on a chin. If the cops own the union and gambling's in bed with the cops... Yeah, yeah, and then who really runs the gambling, right? Well, no offense, but uh, Maximino is really the big boy in town, obviously. Maximino. But word is, he gets his orders from some hardcore gangsters in El Mero. Yeah, that fancy cat track is really just a big laundromat, if you get my drift. Since you're not using your tools, think I could borrow them? Well, we sold them to feed our families. Then how are you ever gonna work? I, I told you things were messed up down here, Manny. I, I told you. Hey, can I borrow one of your union cards? What, are you kidding? You know how much I had to pay Chow Chilla Charlie to get mine? You guys know a seaman, Naranja? Nah, CBs and sailors don't mix. But you're in the same union. Well, maybe so, but some traditions are sacred there, Manny. I can't tolerate all this injustice. I'm leaving. Things just aren't the way they should be down here, Manny. It's like the worker bees. They do all the work. But we can't affect the, uh, the, uh... Ah, it's like the way that things are produced should be controlled by... I mean, we should... Die. Forget it. I'm just a dumb, hungry, out of work bee. No. As an adult, the, these guys are pulling my heartstrings a lot more than when I was a kid. All right, good. I can go over here. And right, I'll say this much: in 15 minutes, I might have to just take a small break just so I can go take care of a sick dog. It's locked. It's locked. Back here? No, okay. Can I go over yonder? Oh, I can. Okay. Um. Oh. That takes me all the way back up. check out that the other room first Sweet. let's check out the blue casket it sounds like a jazz club and it is What are you doing here? This crowd doesn't go much for souvenir pictures, except maybe of Lennon. Shh! Manny, I'm on a stakeout. I'm going to prove to Maximino once and for all that Olivia's no good for him. Still hung up on Max, eh? Hey? Take my advice, Angel. Forget about him. He's a gambling racketeer. <laughs> like you. Oh, that hurts, baby. Hey, shh! Here they come. Oh, 
Come on, sugar. How about a kiss for the road? Oh, ick. Don't let me down, Nick. You're a lawyer. You're not supposed to have feelings. I don't, but I know a good tart when I see one. Hey! If Maximino sees that, we're going to end up in matching terracotta pots. Don't be silly. He wouldn't hurt me. He loves me. Uh. <laughs> Manny, at last we're alone. Tell me, how are the bourgeoisie? Fine. How's Max? Oh, Gramps, don't start. What are you doing with a snake like Nick? I'd lay it on you, Manny, but uh, I don't think you'd get it. Messing around with your boyfriend's lawyer is pretty dangerous. Oh, maybe I was wrong. You do get it. I'm a little worried about Lola. That's because she's doomed, Manny. She fell in love with Maximino. That's the one mistake I never made. Do you think Nick would hurt her? Only if he finds her, and take it from me. He's not good at finding things. Open mic night seems like a big hit. It always takes those timid souls a while to get up the nerve. Maybe it would help if you went up there and started things rolling. Oh, Manny, read poetry in my own club? That would be like this whole place was just a big temple set up to worship me. Oh, come. Okay. Alive, we slept. Life's just some rapid eye movement. In a warm, cozy bed. Buried, we wake. The flesh dream is over, Daddy. Now that we're all crazy dead. That was great. Yeah, but that's the last one. Well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. Mind if I go in? You don't want to go in there. I haven't cleaned up yet. Yeah, I'll... Just a dab will drop you. Hey, man, you didn't see me put the secret ingredient in these coffin shooters, did you? Relax. Olivia stole the recipe from me in the first place. Yeah. She steals from the rich and gives to me to pour. sink is full of dirty hookah water. Nothing in the dishwasher. Nothing in the dishwasher. I don't get the feeling those cleaning supplies are used much around here. I'm not gonna drink dirty hookah water, and I can't carry it with my bare hands. These plates are filthy. I'm not gonna eat off of dirty plates, and I'm not going to clean them. Dirty plates can stay put. All right, I'm gonna assume I need to scoop that up. stuff that ought to kill the pain no hmm no effect testing testing, testing. <laughs> Let's see if I can...
not so much. I'm gonna need to scoop up that hookah water, the dirty hookah water. Alright, let's go up top. Ooh. No, 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 no! That's getting a little annoying. Alright, nothing back here. And then it's back into my casino, Manny's casino. So let's see what's down here. There's a lot going on here. Late night at the morgue, isn't it, Mimbrio? Oh. You know I can't sleep with John Doe's on the slab, Manny. If I don't ID these rose gardens tonight, I won't be ready for the two that come in tomorrow. And before you know it, I'm up to my ass in his areas. What a sad story. These two sprouted and no one came down to claim them? Death makes sad stories of us all. How's business? Booming, unfortunately. More crime every day. And more and more sproutings like these. Something's happening back in Elmaro, I think. And its dark hand is finally reaching us here in Rubacava. What exactly are you looking for? I'm digging for a treasure that part of me does not wish to find. For when I uncover that sad doubloon that tells me who this poor soul is, my reward is not riches, but the chance to make a phone call and break somebody's heart. Of course, with this equipment, the search could go on for some time. Can I help? Sure. Grab hold of this leaf right here. Manny? I can't do it. I know. I was just testing. Well, don't let me bother you. Always nice to have visitors. Any leads? I know it's a poor coroner who blames his tools, Manny. But how am I supposed to turn up anything with the equipment they give me? Hey, I had a government job for years, man. I know how you feel. All right, he needs some sort of tool to find something. Let's see what we got here. for cargo stolen from shipyard receiving area, including a large suitcase bearing the initials H.L. Okay. What a horrible jail cell. Then again, it sure taught Gladys a lesson that time. Anything back here? Nope. There are stairs over there. I feel like the run isn't as fast as I want it to be now. Whoa. That one back yonder. Okay, so then that was the other side. And Okay, at least I kind of got my bearings up for the most part right now. I know that statue is supposed to mean something about justice, but I don't know. 
least he's honest. I want to look around the Calavera Cafe. I went upstairs. Let's talk to. Nice. Hello, Manny. Hola. I guess Gladys is good at anything that uses keys. I just had a run-in with Domino and Mechi. We're leaving town. What? What? How? Domino's got Mechi. We're going after them tonight. What should I do? Just sit here until I get a boat. Sit here. Check. Okay. You know, when we leave... I'm actually going to miss this place. Ah, oh, Manny, why can't we just stay here? We got our fancy club. We got three squares a day. Max lets me take the bone wagon out on his kitty track once a week. Plus, we look good in these clothes. <laughs> Gladys, I can't live in this world forever. It's not where I belong. I've got to find Meche and help her. Because if it weren't for me, she'd have been on that train a year ago. Okay, Manny. Later. Out. Marillo de Oro, a very fine liqueur filled with solid gold flakes. Yes, I better take this with me for safekeeping. That's the bottle. I needed something. Sit down, Charlie. Of course not, Manny. I, I mean, it is your club, right? Right. So what are you doing in it? Didn't I tell you not to come back until you can pay your bar tab? Oh, <laughs> or they kicked me out of that cat track for printing fake betting stubs. So now I have to come here, Manny, which I love, which I love. How did you print fake betting stubs? With this. Isn't she beautiful? The last time I was incarcerated, I shared a cell with the most dishonest con man I ever met. He was strictly small time, and I managed to steal this from him quite easily. Thanks. You never know when this may come in handy. Hey, give that back to me, Manny. Maybe once you sell your bar tab, eh, Charlie? Oh, Manny. <laughs> What else can you counterfeit? Nothing, anything. Can you make reasonable union cards? Manny, are you going to start moonlighting? Or are you just looking to hang out with the sailors? Can you do it or not? Hmm. I have a deal for you. If you can retrieve my money from Maximino, I can make you president of that crooked union. I don't need to be president. And why does Max have your money? I put a whole suitcase of it up for collateral on a rather large wager last month. The race was fixed, Manny. They stole my money like common thieves. Here, take this VIP pass and use it to get into the High Rollers Lounge. Nice. They won't let me in there anymore. There should be a safe. Some Somewhere in the wine cellar, and my suitcase should be in it. And you can get me a card tonight. If you make it back, Manny, the card will be on the table. That was a big win right there. Mesdames et messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. Ladies and gentlemen, please place your bets. Everything okay down here? I'm going to need some more chips if Monsieur Lucky does not call it a night, so... Not while they're losing. 
You know, some people say you should always walk away from the table when you're on a winning streak. Oh, yes, but I'm feeling extra lucky tonight. Number two, two is the winner. Your chips, monsieur. You know, some people say you should always walk away from the table when you're on a winning streak. Oh, yes, but I'm feeling extra lucky tonight. Police Chief Bogan, Rubacaba's finest. Rubacaba's only, for that matter. How nice. Mesdames et Messieurs, faites vos jeux, s'il vous plaît. All right, I got some. Gentlemen, please press your pets. Stuff going on. So let's do this. I need to go take care of the pup real quick. Mary! I have a note for you from Lola. Lola? Oh, yes. Now, where is it? Where, 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 where? Oh, here. No, wait. Dang. I have a whole new system for messages. Just let me... Here. No, no, wait. Ah, be quiet. Here it is. Wait a second. It's empty. There was something inside. It felt like a key. A key? Yes! But did somebody come back here and snake the key while I was sorting the coats? Who would do that? They messed up my whole system! Okay. So what I'm going to do... to do that I'm just gonna get to that uh, that uh, in the direction of the VIP rollers did I go down this way I want to uh, just kind of get in that general direction. And then I need to go take care of the pups. So then I will be back in five minutes. I just need to make sure he's good and let him outside real quick into the backyard. And then I will pick right back up with uh, Grim Fandango here. Okay, so what I want to do is also just save the game in case I screw up protectively, and I'll be right back. 